Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. Today I'm making a video introducing our book review series. I say series is a loose term. I am going to post a video every time I read a book. For a few months, I'm probably going to be posting book review videos pretty frequently because as you can see, I have a lot of books to catch up on. Most of these I have read before. So I do want to leave a review for every book, at least theologically based book that I've read before. Most of them pretty good, some of them eh, but I'll get into that. But today I want to talk about why I think reading is important. So I'm doing this because I want to encourage people to read, especially really good books. Today we are in a society where people are consumed with phones and social media and uh, to be honest, it makes people stupid and it makes people not think for themselves. They just see and they just digest this just onslaught of information and it just turns people into zombies. A few months ago, the Lord gave me a vision of this spirit. And if you've watched this channel, you've probably heard me talk about this before. This big octopus principality looking thing operating through cell phones, through movies, through TV, through radio and all these tentacles coming out of these platforms and wrapping around people's brains. This thing was basically making people forgetful and stupid and as we see kind of what we do with social media. Little did I know, somebody looked up the word Manasseh, which is the name the Lord gave me, was Media Manasseh. The word Manasseh means in Hebrew to cause to forget to cause to forget. And that blew my mind because that's exactly what the Lord was showing me. So we are so consumed by social media. I was reading a, a book, believe it or not, that was describing how the difference between uh, television media type versus reading media type operates in our brain. When we are watching something in an audiovisual platform, our brain does not properly digest it. You receive the image and then it's there, it's in your brain and that's it. And you can decide you like it or you don't like it, but there it is. The information is just, just right in your brain, good or bad. Now, with a book, what happens is you read the words and your mind has to actually compute the words and decipher a meaning. Now, in that process of computing, your brain is thinking, it's active, it's paying attention, and it has to digest the information now. During that digestion process, your brain can make an active rejection or an active acceptance of that information as opposed to just wholesale <clears throat> right in your brain. And we've seen today, there's so much knowledge everywhere. The click of a button, you can find it. But that's caused us to be lazy. Why do I need to know anything if I can just look it up on Wikipedia? Well, if you're watching this channel, you know that our mission here is to replicate the ministry of Jesus Christ. And one of those missions, there's five of them, one of them is casting out demons. And that's been the majority of our content so far. But another one was teaching the scripture. And I believe in biblical literacy and understanding the Bible. And the first way to do that is to read the Bible itself. Now, some people, they just want to read the Bible and not read any books. And that's okay. But if you're going to spend hours on social media and on your phone, I say there's a better option than that, and that is reading books to learn things. Behind me on this shelf is hundreds of years of compounded wisdom from theologians, from exorcists, from evangelists, from mighty men of God, from historians. And I haven't read it all, but there is so much wisdom and there's so much understanding. And the Bible says to get wisdom, whatever it costs. So I encourage you, please, get wisdom whatever the cost is. It is more valuable than gold. It is more valuable than gems, as the Proverbs say. And one way to get wisdom is to read. Of course, reading your Bible should come first. But after that, instead of nauseating ourselves with movies and phones and YouTubes and TikToks or watching videos like these, read something. Read some of the books that we'll be recommending in this series. Some of them I will be giving Maso Meno reviews for. Some of them I will have very strong reviews. If you don't know where to start, please watch the following videos in this series or go out and ask your pastor or mentors what books they suggest because reading can be such a powerful tool. I have learned so much in deliverance ministry from reading. I w if I just went straight off experience and God just revealing it all to me, I would not be anywhere near I, where I am today. I have learned so much from the deliverance ministers of the past. So much wisdom that I could glean from these people who spent 30, 40, 50 years casting out demons. 
And that's just one example. Whatever your calling, whatever your specialty is, there's people who have spent decades doing it. And if you think God's going to just reveal it all to you, I just don't believe that's biblical. Yes, God does reveal things to us. We learn things from experience. But there is something to learning from the past. Learning from people who have done this for a long time. That doesn't mean everything they say is right. But swallow the meat, spit out the bones. So thank you for tuning in. I encourage you, watch the videos on this series. And please, read. It is so helpful and it is so important in these last days when there was so much deception. Thank you for listening.